Would you like to store important files and access them from anywhere? Well, let me show you how to integrate your JotForm with Google Drive. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. And for this example, I'm going to use a form that I already have created. I'm gonna head up to the top and use my picture attachments form. We're gonna edit form. And as you can see, I already have some basic elements already added in. I have their name, email, and two different file uploads. Now, in order to get this integrated with Google Drive, we're gonna to to the top middle orange button, which is settings. Then over on the left-hand side, we're gonna choose integrations. And Google Drive is one of our most popular integrations, so it should be right here on the front page. But if not, I'm gonna head up to the top. We're gonna to do a quick search and we'll search for Google. We'll choose Google Drive. And if this is your first time integrating with Google Drive, you'll need to choose the account that you would like to integrate with. You'll want to authenticate and you'll also want to allow access. For me, I already have my account here. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose add action. Now, this is where we're going to be setting everything up. Right at the top, we have the enter folder name. Now, as of right now, it is called picture attachments. And this is going to be the name of the folder where all of our submission data and those files uploads are going to live. So I'm fine with it being picture attachments and it is going to be the name that your form is named. So if you'd like to edit that, we can do that here. Now, I also would like to create a folder for each submission and we can change the name of what that looks like. So right now we can see the folder name is the submission ID. I want it to be more recognizable to me. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the submission ID. We're going to choose the form fields and I'm going to choose the person's name. We'll do a space dash space, and I'm going to choose the submission date. Next, we're going to add in the PDF version of that submission. And then at the very last, we get to choose those uploaded fields. As of right now, we can choose file one and file two, or we can choose just maybe file two. It's completely up to you. So let's go ahead and add both of those files in there and everything looks good to go. So let's go ahead and save and we are good to go. Now, if we come up here, we see that it is enabled. We are sending the files. If we need to edit any piece of this, we can click on that edit tab and it'll bring us right here. We'll save this again. If we need to change anything, we can choose those three dots. We can rename it, we can disable it, and we can even delete it. Now, once we fill this out, we'll come back over here and we'll take a look at what this action log looks like. But let's go ahead and click this Google Drive. And you can see it brought me to my Google Drive. We can see the overall is called picture attachments. So I'm gonna head back over. Let's preview this form and give it a quick fill form. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag in two files. We're gonna do two images here. Perfect, we'll submit. And let's head back over to our Google Drive here. And we can see we have John Smith and we have the date and time. Let's go ahead and open this. We have our two images as well as the PDF version of his submission. Now let's go ahead and head back over. We'll turn off the preview. Now we can click these three dots. We can see the action log and we can see the last seven days of action logs listed here. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about integrating your JotForm account with Google Drive, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.